Welcome to this tutorial on C Sharp Try Get Value. My name is Yannick, and in this video, we will explore what Try Get Value is, how it works, and its usage in C Sharp. We will also cover some examples to help you understand how Try Get Value works. So let's get started. Here I have the C Sharp application, and I got a dictionary of type string and string, so this for sure is a key value pair. I'm pretty sure that you are familiar with dictionaries if you're here to learn about try get value. So we have a dictionary type string string for fruits and its colors. So an apple is red, banana is yellow. I think you got the idea, right? Try get value is a method that is used to get the value associated with a specific key from a dictionary. So the method checks whether the dictionary contains the specific key or not. And if it does, it returns the value associated with the key. No, if it doesn't, it returns a default value. So if we want to get the color for banana, we can simply try to get the value for banana, right? And if we have a banana key, we will get the answer yellow or the value yellow. And if we don't have it, we can get a default value, for example. So let's see how try get value works. Let's simply take our fruits dictionary here and let's try get value. You can see that right here, try get value. Now from its signature, you can tell that we need a key and an out string value. Now it's type of string because our values are of type string right here. I will get to that out just in a second. So let's try to get the color of the fruit banana. So the key is banana. So I will just write that down here, banana, there we go. Need to make sure that the key is written correct for sure. So it's pointing to that object here, right? Key value pair, there we go. Now next up, we have to out value. So what we can do is, we could simply say that we keep that inside of the same scope. I will get to that in a second, or we create a variable for it. So we say string, let's say banana color. Okay, I just wanna make it as obvious as possible. So banana color equals to none, all right? So there is no color yet. So what we can do is we can simply go to our try get value again and say out banana color, because our banana color variable here is of type string. And if I hover above try get value again, you can see we need to give out a string, right? With its value, if it's possible. Awesome. So if we have a key banana, our banana color will become yellow if we find a value. Now, one more thing to notice is that try get value is returning a Boolean. So we can do really a lot of stuff with that try get value. Let me just show you what I mean. We could basically just leave it like that. So we simply call a method, alrighty? Let me set the breakpoint here in line 25 so that we can simply see the value of banana color once we reach the end of the program. Great, so our application has stopped now. And if I hover above banana color, you can see the color is yellow. So indeed it did work. But there is some more stuff that we can do with the try get value. We can wrap it inside an if statement and we can use the out inside of the same scope without the need of creating a variable right here. If you're interested in boosting your C-Shop skills even further, please go ahead and check out our C-Shop Progress Academy. It's a self-paced online course that teaches you advanced C-Sharp, even ASP.NET Core, Angular and unit testing in depth. So we offer a 14 day money back guarantee. And I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a C-Sharp developer. You can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, smash the subscribe button right now because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming c -Sharp and .NET related videos that help you become a better developer. Now let's first of all get started by wrapping that inside of a nice if statement. So since I already explained that try get value here is a boolean or is returning a boolean, we could for sure wrap it inside an if statement just like that. If we can get a value, right? So in that scenario, the if block would get executed. Let's just create a CW console write line, right? That was just a short code. Console write line, let's say found value. Now let's print the value here, banana color. There we go. If I now start the application, let me just remove that breakpoint. We don't need it anymore since we know that we will for sure get the key found value yellow, right? So that worked fine. We're inside here. Now we can also for sure add an else block here. In that way, I can simply console write line and set value not found. Now in that specific way, the message should be like we did not find the key because we weren't able to get the key and therefore we weren't able to get the value, alrighty? So value not found, we can leave it like this anyway. If I now add a spelling mistake here, let's say 
I search for banana and press play, you can see value not found because actually the key wasn't found and therefore the value was not found. I just wanna, as I said, make it as obvious as possible. All right, now, not every time you want to create uh, variables, for example, from clean code principles, if we don't use that banana color outside of our if statement here, for example, we have no need to create it outside of it because then the scope is a mismatch. So we simply remove banana color here, there we go, and we add it into our try get value call itself. So out string banana color. So we're creating like a variable right inside here. And the cool thing about it is, now let me just remove that spelling mistake so that we find a value, right? Let me just hit start again. You can see that it works, found value yellow. We were able to use that banana color variable here, which we're creating right here. And the cool thing is that even outside of this scope, console right line, let me just add that here. We can still use again, let me just banana color here. Let me hit start and you can see found value yellow and yellow. Now pay attention, that's not the best way to do it because banana color could potentially have no value because here we know that we have a value, but what happens if I add a spelling mistake value not found and I use banana color. So let me just hit um, create a spelling mistake again and hit start. You can see that we don't have a value inside here, right? So if you want to use it that way, you have to make sure that you check for like a null reference or for like an empty or white space. But in the best way, you simply check in an if statement, hey, if I can get the value, then I want to use it. You can use it by your variable that you create inside of the try get value itself. Awesome. Well, and that's it. So thanks for watching this tutorial on C-Shark try get value. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more programming tutorials. Also, don't forget to check out our C-Shark Progress Academy and I'd be happy to see you back in the next video.